Welcome to the opening of more Super Nintendo World merchandise here at the Universal Studio Store. I'm going to go one cut for you guys, a nice tour very quick. Right here on the front, Mario and Luigi merchandise with the tops and the hat right here on display and the question block photo op right here at the entrance. Let's make our way in and see what's going on. Man, look at these massive green warp pipes here. This is so cool. So immediately, I have to tell you guys, the music is already the same as feature presentation. It looks super similar, uh, in my opinion, as well. There are, of course, some differences. I mean, these floating blocks are very reminiscent of uh, the original Mario Brothers games and very, very cool. So there is some difference there in terms of uh, this shop versus feature presentation. But music's the same. Some of the merchandise so far looks similar. But we'll make the rounds and do a little tour for you guys. So tell me what you think. The Mario and Luigi hats which I think are just gonna be flying off the shelf, are both here. These run $26. But check out the massive green warp pipes here, guys. There was a work wall blocking this section off from the main store for quite some time. We finally see why. Look at the cool work they did in here. So we have Yoshi plush toys here. Let's keep making our way through. Some more Mario merchandise here. Again, the hats, I promise you, these are gonna be flying off the shelf. A whole section over here uh, dedicated to Luigi and of course, Mario on the other side. I'll give you guys some more prices while we're in here. These player one and player two t-shirts are running $27. Let's make our way through and see if there's anything else that's standing out. So far, very much on par from feature, I would say. That's about uh, the merchandise I think we were expecting to this point, but I think over the coming weeks, coming months, we should expect uh, some new items fin filling up not only this store, but also Feature. I'm curious how long Feature's gonna last now that this is also here. Seems like they're trying to put Nintendo everywhere and that's how it's coming across, but obviously in time we will definitely see. A nice section here strictly for Mario Kart. I'll update you guys again on some prices here on this hoodie. Uh, this is running $60. A really cool item I'm trying to look for right now is a backpack. I'm trying to see where that backpack is. Here we go. Look at this backpack right here with this strap. It's almost like a race car seat belt strap on the backpack. Uh, this one right now is running. Let's see if I can get a price for you guys. $50. $50 for the backpack. And of course, if you guys ever want to know the price of anything, put in the comments something that you're seeing and I'll come back. I'll update you guys. I'll put, I'll answer your comment and give you uh, a price update. But something like this Mario Kart shirt, uh, this is $35. This Mario Kart hat, which has a Super Nintendo World patch on the side. Something that I'm still waiting for is park-specific merchandise. A lot of this is Super Nintendo World generic merchandise. So what that means is it can be sold not only in Florida when it opens there, but Japan, uh, here, et cetera, et cetera. And what I'm looking for is Universal Studios Hollywood specific Super Nintendo World merchandise. I think that would be super cool. I don't know if we're ever gonna get it, but my hope is we do, right? Wouldn't it be cool to have something exclusive uh, to the parks that we visit most? That's what I'm hoping, uh, but we'll see how that pans out. But a lot to see, guys, a lot to be excited about. Super Nintendo World is definitely, definitely on the way. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day and come check out the new store here or the new addition to the Universal Studios store at Universal Studios Hollywood. Bye, guys.